Hey guys, it's Ricardo with Box Box Bouquet here. We're gonna just show you a quick little video on how I'm gonna put these nesting boxes on the outside of this coop I'm currently building. Um, I usually do them on the side of the table there, but so this coop, we're gonna have the nesting boxes sticking out the side here. So instead of putting the nesting boxes on site, I went ahead and fabricated the nesting boxes here using one, two by twos and a two by three to be on the back. So we're gonna just go ahead and show you how I would attach that instead of ripping out a hole on your already plywood wall. I'm gonna do it on the studs and then do the plywood on here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lean this right here. I've already got everything lined up and I'm gonna use these clamps to help me hold it in place. Just making sure everything's lined up. I had already measured this coop and I knew that it was gonna be four feet wide. So I made my nesting boxes that same length. They're 14 inches tall and it's gonna have a slope here that'll go either 16 or 17 inches. So it slopes the roof like this for whenever it rains, the rains will just fall right down the coop. Okay, well, there's not much to it. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, seems pretty stable already, even just like that. So we're gonna go ahead and add some screws to our studs right there. I'm pre-drilling a hole and then drilling my screw in there because if you just do the screw, sometimes it splits the wood and I hate when that happens. Let's do this corner here too. Let's go ahead and add a clamp here if we can to hold it as tight as possible against that stud wall in the back. And then we're gonna come back to this side Let's do that there first. Take this one off and it should already be pretty good, but I'm just gonna go ahead and lean on it a little bit here while I drill. Pre-drilling two holes. That's the gist of it. I only did a few screws here on the two by three bracing, some along the sides. And this thing seems to be really sturdy. I'm leaning on it. And I mean, this is shaking a little bit. The nesting boxes themselves, they're not really flexing. They're, they seem pretty, pretty attached to that. I typically like to do the nesting boxes here on the side. But if you notice here, I include it on my floor. So it's on the base of that main coop instead of it just hanging out the side. But uh, I'm making this for someone and she requested for the nesting boxes to be in the front here. The chicken door will be on the corner and then the clean out door will be on the side. But she wanted the nesting boxes here in the front and she wanted them to hang out of the base. So that's why we're trying this for the first time. But like I said, I usually like to just include it as part of the base for my coops, just like our very own. For me, it was way easier, way faster to just build the framing for the nesting boxes and then just attach directly to the side of this already almost finished coop. I got my studs, but this should be done by the next day or the day after that. Not the next day, two days later, but have a surprise. The coop's all finished, I'll show you now. Well, let's have a look here, guys. So. That's my nesting boxes right there with the lid and hinges and everything. I added a little latch right here so that we can attach. Kind of hard to do with one hand, but bear with me. There we go, so that we can attach it there for easy egg collecting. After your chickens have laid their eggs, I got four nesting boxes in this one. They're about 12 inches wide each. So that's four. My coop is finished. All it needs, and I really mean all it needs now, is a little chicken door, which uh, I painted brown. It's currently drying right now. I have it out here in the sun drying. So as soon as that's dry, we're gonna attach it. And this chicken coop is finished. For those of you that might ask, this coop is three and a half by five foot long. It's got a slant roof for drainage of rain and I'm pretty happy with it. It's almost like a coffee with milk color. 
in a nice dark espresso color. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I know it was a short and quick one, but I kind of wanted to show you guys how I attach the nesting boxes to the side of the coop there versus on the back where I normally would place it. Uh, subscribe to our channel, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch some more DIY builds, click on this video up here. And we're also going to have a video right about right here. Go ahead and click on either of those to watch more of our channel and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you.